So we're going to have a quick look at the super scale function in Resolve and how it can help you to upscale video from a 1080p camera to match footage from other higher resolution cameras or just to add a nice boost in sharpness to your image. Let's take a look at how to use the super scale function. We'll go ahead and change our timeline resolution to 4K. We want our timeline to be set at the resolution that we're intending to output the final video. We've got our clip already colour graded in our timeline. We can simply right click on the clip and go to clip attributes. At the bottom of the video tab, you'll see the super scale options. We've got two times, three times or four times, corresponding to the original resolution of your clip. For example, to simplify this, 2 times the resolution of 1080 is 2160 or 4K. 3 times would be 3240 or 6K. 4 times is 4320 or 8K. For now, we'll select 2 times, which will upscale our HD footage to 4K. After this is selected, you have two more options, sharpness and noise reduction. Sharpness will determine the level of sharpening that's applied on the upscale. Different situations call for different levels of sharpening, but I often find that medium is usually a good fit for most clips. With noise reduction, I find selecting low and taking care of the noise manually is your best bet, as it allows you more control over the image. Once we click OK, you may not notice much of a difference. So let's take away our super scale quickly and get a better look at our image close up. We'll go back and apply the super scale again. This time you can see the effect our super scale has had on the image. It's quite subtle but it does an excellent job on upscaling the clip for 4K output. What we do get is a little bit of this noise as an artifact of the sharpening process. To take care of this, we can jump into the grade and add a little bit of noise reduction. I like to use temporal noise reduction for this. We'll get rid of this little bit of colour noise first, then take away some of the rest using a Luma slider. This cleans your image up nicely and your upscale sharpening remains intact. Here's a 1080p ProRes file that was already graded before it was imported to this project. We can see that the grade utilised grain to give a more filmic texture to the image. If we superscale this clip, we can see that the grain in our image has been sharpened. This is still a great way to add sharpness to your image and helps massively when you want to upscale something like this to 4K or above. We can even tone some of the grain back down using our temporal noise reduction again if the effect is too much.
The superscale also works nicely on footage shot with older cameras in weaker codecs. This was shot with a Nikon D800. If we superscale our image, we've made a massive difference to the sharpness here, and it will retain this sharpness when we export it out to 4K. One thing to note here is that if the original clip didn't capture much detail, then the superscale won't magically introduce new detail. You can see that although the image is much sharper than before, the skin is still missing some texture. We can do a little to help, like add some grain to introduce some texture to the image, but it won't completely fix the issue. So it's by no means perfect, but you're still able to sharpen your old camera's 1080p image up and export it in 4K for things like YouTube and Vimeo, where a vast amount of people watch content with 4K displays. Here's another practical use for the superscale technique. Multi-camera footage. We might be shooting at a gig with a multi-camera setup, but the budget just won't stretch for one more camera. For a situation like this, you can grab that old D800 and use it for one of the angles. Using the super scale, our image is now ready to be cut alongside any other higher resolution cameras. One thing to note here, the superscale function is pretty intensive on your system. You may find it difficult to play back on your timeline, especially with noise reduction on top of this. Your render times may also be a bit slow. I tend to leave the superscale and noise reduction as the very last part of my colour grade, so that my system doesn't struggle when I'm editing or completing the rest of the grade. Resolve Superscale is an excellent way to upscale 1080p video to 4K and beyond, and can really help to breathe a bit of new life into your older cameras. If you're interested in how I colour grade my work, I've just added a 21 minute tutorial video to my website for just £8. The tutorial takes you through the grading process in DaVinci Resolve for two cinematic looks. A more modern, punchy look, and a more classical, filmic look. I've also included some practice DNG files so you can grade along with the video. Head over to www.robellisscinematography.com forward slash downloads to grab the video.